Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on our number system, the basics. Numeration. Numeration involves using symbols to represent the normal counting numbers we use from day to day. The symbols and the names of the numbers are as follows. So here are the symbols. We're used to writing these. They're just really marks on a page, aren't they? And that's what they mean. They actually mean they stand for the numbers that we use every day. And they're the main ones we use from 0 to 9. And using all those symbols, or a combination of any of them, we're able to write whatever numbers we want. Our system of numbers is called the Hindu Arabic system. The numerals are symbols we use to represent the numbers. In other words, these are the numerals and they're actually symbols, but they actually stand for something, don't they? They stand for the number one, which means one apple. This symbol here, which is a numeral, stands for the number two. And in real life, for example, that represents two marbles. And we can continue on. If we were to write the symbol three, that could stand for three oranges, for example, or whatever. The numerals, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, are called digits. That's what we call them. Each of those marks on the page there, or those symbols, they are called digits, and in fact, they're single digits. See, of course, there's only one of them. You pick any one of them here, and that's why we call them single digits. Practice counting to a certain number. For example, the following exercises are useful. Count from 1 to 20. Count from 1 to 50. Count from 1 to 10 by 2's. I think you know what that means. 2, 4, 6, etc. Count from 1 to 20 by 2's. And count from 1 to 50 by 5's. 5, 10, 15, 20, etc. Here are some simple exercises. Match each of the following objects with the correct counting number. So here we see some oranges. If we go 1, 2, 3. So that's what we write. This mark on the page represents the number 3, and in real life it could represent 3 oranges or three of anything else. Let's look here. One, two, three, four, five. So here we have five bananas. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six cups. Even numbers. The counting numbers we use can be divided into two different types of numbers. The first type are called even numbers. Examples of even numbers are 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, etc. Notice they start at 0 and they go up by 2. Okay, there's no number in between. We know there is, but we don't put it down. We'll talk about that special number in a minute. So when you start at 0, you just keep adding 2, and that gives you all the even numbers. In fact, 
all even numbers end in either 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. See here where we had the number 10, see how that ends in 0? The number 12 ends in a 2. So if you write down any number you like, doesn't matter how big it is, if it is an even number, it ends in one of these. Odd numbers. The second type of numbers are called odd numbers. Examples of odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, etc. In fact, all odd numbers end in either 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. So you've just got those five digits there. And no matter how large the number is, if it ends in one of these, it is an odd number. Different amounts can be represented in many ways. For example, you can write 23, which could stand for 23 of anything, 23 apples, 23 oranges, 23 bananas. These are figures. They're digits, aren't they? There's one digit there, there's another digit there. There are two digits there, and we call these figures. You can also write words, 23. So this 2, 3 can be represented this way. You can have base 10 blocks, where that represents 10. That's another 10, that gives us 20, 21, 22, 23. So base 10 blocks can be also used to represent the amount of 23. And what about objects? Here are some sticks, 10 sticks, 20 sticks, and another three, 23 sticks. You can have bananas here. You can have anything. So different objects and different amounts of objects can be presented in different ways. Normally the numbers stand for something. 23 could mean $23. Okay, it could mean 23 students in a class. But they can be represented in four different ways. There would be others, but we'll just look at these four for the moment. So this video has just introduced our simple number system, and it's looked at even numbers and odd numbers, and it's looked at some different ways of representing numbers or different amounts.